Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at bar chart labels with matplotlib. Let's get started. So I'm going to go on and give us a little bit of labels. So uh, bar uh, chart labels with uh, matplotlib. So first off, let's go on and get some of our imports in. So import uh, matplotlib.pyplot. as PLT. Let's also import uh, numpy as MP. And then we'll also do um, here matplotlib inline uh, so that we get everything nice and clean. And I'm going to go on and also zoom in here for you guys a little bit. Um, so next up, let's go on and um, define some data. Okay, so um, what are we going to want to do here? Let's say that we want n is equal to 5, um, and then we'll have some data in here. So let's say uh, we have data for men and women. So uh, uh, let's do male. Mean here is going to be something like uh, 20, uh, 40, uh, 30, uh, 45 and let's say uh, negative 20. Okay, and then we'll do female mean and then we'll do something like uh, 25, uh, 42, uh, 44, uh, 20, and uh, negative uh, 34. Why not? Uh, and then we'll do uh, Male standard deviation. Uh, we'll do two, three, one, one, uh, four, or five, and three. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. All right. And then we'll do the same thing here for female. Uh, standard deviation here. And we'll do something like uh, three or four, f uh, one, two, and five. Okay, sure. Uh, and then we'll also do um, uh, the locations of our groups. So again, so this is like the number of groupings that we have here or the number of variables. And so let's do uh, some index here of mp.a range of n here. Um, and then we'll do uh, the width here of 0 0.3. Um, Five. Mm, let's do four. Okay, so I'll make them a little bit wider. Um, and then we're going to go on and uh, stack some bar plots with some errors. Okay, so um, mm, stacked bar chart with errors. Okay, uh, and so what do we want with this? Let me move this up a little bit for you guys. Uh, we'll do something like uh, uh, P1 is going to be our axis dot bar. Um, oh, whoops, and let me go on and make our axis. So we do figure axis is equal to PLT dot subplot. Um, so first our axis will be a bar uh, and we want our index. We want our men or our female or male. Uh, a male mean uh, with the width. Uh, we want our error for to be the uh, male standard deviation. And our label here will be um, male. And then we'll do P2. Here is going to be our axis bar index uh, female mean width error is going to be female standard deviation uh, label is female um, then let's go on and create up some uh, lines here so we want our axis will be with a horizontal line here zero uh, color let's make it uh, gray we want uh, maybe a line width and here to be 0 0.8. Uh, let's go on and make a um, 
a label in here. So let's do something like access of our Y label here to be score. Um, and then we'll do something like access.set title uh, scores by group and gender. We also want to go on and give uh, some X ticks. So uh, this is going to be uh, our index, okay? Because this is just basically going to be some whatever our groupings are, okay? And we're going to have five groupings. And again, we want them basically from um, uh, maybe zero to one or something like that. Uh, let's see, what else do we want in here? Let's give. Instead of just having these numbers as like one, two, three, four, five, six, let's actually set up um, the labels, the X tick. Uh, uh, X tick labels here as something like um, G1, G2, G3, G. Uh, G4, uh, G5, because we have five groups. Um, and this actually needs to be in a tuple in here. And then we want our legend. Okay. Now we want to also go on and put in in here uh, some labels uh, with our centering. So let's do a, a label with uh, our label types. Okay, uh, at the center uh, instead of at uh, the edge. Okay, so we want them, we want our labels to be in the center. Okay, we don't want them, usually they'll put them like kind of off kilter to the side. That's not what we want. We want something that looks nice and clean. Okay, so access dot bar underscore label uh, p1 uh, label type is going to be center. Then access dot bar underscore label of p2 label type, whoops, type is center. Uh, then we also want in here to actually label the bar. So access dot bar label of P2. Uh, and then let's actually go on and show the plot. Oh, and we have an error in here. So, um, we have no attribute here, Y label. So where did I put Y label? Let's see, at seven. Okay, so do, 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 Y label. All right, um, and this is actually set Y label. Oh, and we have another one And here. Um, and again, I misspelled label in here, okay. What does it not have in here? Um, huh, really? All right, so uh, what actually happened here? Um, you need to make sure that um, I, I was using an old version of matplotlib on the particular um, uh, uh, version that I was doing, so I needed to update matplotlib uh, for this uh, bar plot, bar label here to work because it's relatively new. Uh, make sure to use a uh, version at least 3.3.4, okay, uh, when you're wanting to um, use this. And so if you're wanting to update or upgrade, um, it would be, and I'll, um, let me actually, uh, do this. Uh, it would be something like uh, pip install upgrade map plot lib. Okay, so this is this is the code here that you would use to make sure to have the most up to date 
uh, version of matplotlib. Um, and so whenever you run this, again, you get this um, nice little plot here. Again, it's a little squished at the moment based on the numbers that we have. Um, we can maybe um, mess with them a, a little bit later on if we want to. Uh, some of the labels on here look a little bit ugly, but again, it's just something that um, we'll have to kind of play with. Again here, this needs to be um, label type center as well. Uh, and let's see if we're missing anything else with our uh, nice pretty code here.